Add your website to Google in no time using Google Rich Snippets. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. So in this video, I'm speaking about how you can add your website to Google using something known as rich snippets. Now I've done kind of a similar video on a similar topic where I spoke about Google My Business and how to utilize Google My Business to get even more of your company's information indexed in the search results. So for example, you may have noticed when you're searching for a restaurant, you can actually see certain results in the search engines such as their address. So you can, if you're using your phone, you can literally click before you even click on their website, you can click the link and it shows you their address and you can literally go onto Google Maps and it will show you how to get to their address. You can also sometimes call companies directly from the search engines without even having to go on their website because all of that information is already on Google search results. I'll leave the video to Google My Business in the description down below. If your company is not yet registered with Google My Business, then I highly recommend that you watch that video and optimize your website and your presence online so that more people can discover your business, your products and your services. But in this video, I wanna take that a little bit further by talking about rich snippets and structured data. Now, this is where you can actually edit the code on your website so that more more of your company information appears in the search engines when your potential website visitors perform certain queries and you can actually add elements of information to the search engines before people actually make the decision to click through and actually come onto your website. So I wanna show you a few examples of this using Google. So as you can see, um, I'm on Google now and I've searched for AirPods, which is quite a popular product at the moment. And as you can see on the right hand side, it has kind of information about uh, these AirPods and it has pictures, it has details. If I click, it has reviews and it has uh, the shop so you can click and go to the shop, but it also has the prices as well. So you can give people information about the product or your service before they even make the decision to click. So that's really cool, it's really important. It's kind of like the future of um, SEO and the future of websites and Google search. Another thing that's becoming really important as well is voice search. And when you add certain elements of code and structured data to your website, as I'm gonna be showing you how to do in this video, then that's what the search engines actually are going to be using for voice search as well. So it's really important that you kind of include this to your SEO strategy from now. So when voice search becomes even more popular, then you're kind of in front of the game. Another example is uh, events. So for example, if your company runs events, this uh, is, is a snippet or a rich snippet code from Eventbrite. And as you can see, it tells you the date of this particular event. You can see the name of the event and it shows you a little bit of the address as well before you actually make the decision to click on one of these events. So you can give people prior information about this event whether it's event that, an event that they might want to go to or not before they make the decision to click. Um, also restaurants as well. So if you have a restaurant, you can provide people with specific information before they make that, that decision to click on your site. Now I wanna show you how to do this. Now I'm gonna use an example for my website. I run a blog at daytips.com. Um, at this blog, I speak about things like this. So topics like search engine optimization and how to increase sales to your, your business and drive more traffic and sales. So make sure you visit my website, daytips.com if you haven't already. Uh, but essentially I want to use this page. This is a blog article page as an example. So what I'm gonna do is copy the link. So you're going to want to copy the URL to whatever page you want to add your structured data to. And then you're gonna to want to go to this website, which is Google Webmasters forward slash markup 
hyphen helper so i'm going to leave a link to that website in the description down below so you guys have access to it but essentially you can see here all of the different types of websites uh, that that is prompting you to add structured data for so i'm going to paste my url in here and mine is an article so i'm going to select article but you can see that if this was an events page on my site, then I could select events. If it was movies, I can select that. If this was a restaurant, then I can select that as well. And it will give you different elements that you can edit on that particular page. So I'm gonna click on start tagging. And once that has loaded, you can see that my web page shows up on the left hand side and different information shows up here on the right hand side. So the very first one is name, then you have author, then you have date published, then you have image, um, article section. So this is all of my structured data that I can actually provide to Google. So I can tell Google more information about this page and they can use that information to actually rank that in the search engines when someone might be searching for this particular type of content. So for example, let me go to the name of my article. So my name of my article is how to start a successful business YouTube channel to help sell more online. So if I actually highlight this, then there's options for me to choose from. So I'm gonna click name because this is the name of the article. And as you can see, now it comes up there. So now Google knows that that is the name of my article. If I want to put my name as the author, then I search for my name on this page. So my name is there. So I can actually highlight that, go to author. And now author Sam Day is there. Date published. I can also go to the date published and do the exact same thing as well. So I'm going to go to month, February, date published. Um, advanced and this is the month so February is the month it was on the 1st of February so I'm going to go to advanced again and go to day was February and click on year and there we go so the date of publication is there now as well and then I can go through this and select the information that I want to select. So I can also go through the actual content and select this as a header and select article section and select this as another article section and so on and so forth. And if I wanted to, then I can actually add a body. So because this is the very first paragraph and it kind of describes what I'm going to be speaking about, then that might be something that I want to include as an article body. So all of that information is now there. Literally, all I have to do now is click on the create HTML. And if I go to this tab here where it says micro data, then it gives me the code now to this page. So what that does is it gives me the code that was originally on my website and it, it, it includes the data, the structured data code that I've now created using Google. So I can actually copy from this line here and I can download this as well. If I wanted to download it, 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 it downloads it for me and then I can copy and paste this into the code section of my website. Um, and what this will do is it will change my original website into the website that has the structured data on it now. So now Google can actually see all of the structured data content that is on my site. And that gives me a better chance of that content being found and being ranked uh, in rich snippet format. What you can also do is see where it has been highlighted here in the code. And when you click on it, it shows you the specific element of code that uh, has been changed here. So the structured data code that has been changed and it also shows you where it is in the particular um, page itself. So you could potentially, rather than copying the whole, whole code, you could just copy the section of code that you need and paste it into your website. Now that might get a little bit technical. So I recommend just copying the uh, HTML 
and then pasting it into your site. Now, it, depending on what CMS system you're using, if you're using WordPress or Joomla, this process of copying and pasting code into your pages uh, is going to be different. So you might want to Google how to do that. Um, with Squarespace or with Wix, it's also different, but you're going to want to use code blocks. So you can use code blocks on your pages. And then once you finish adding your structured data, you can then copy the new HTML, go onto the original page, use a code block and paste that code into your Squarespace, Wix website or wherever you're hosting your particular website. So if you want me to do more advanced tutorial of how to include structured data for a restaurant for your products if you have product pages on your website then make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section down below and i'll make some time to do some more specific videos tutorials just like this one uh, so let me know guys uh, also if you want to know more about search engine optimization and how to get your website ranked but not just that but how to actually convert the visitors who come to your website through search into leads and tangible sales, then make sure you download your copy of the formula. It's absolutely free. A copy of it is behind me, but there should also be a copy somewhere on this screen and I'll leave a copy uh, and a link to it in the description down below. So make sure you go and grab your absolutely free copy. It's the guide to generating leads and sales online. So make sure you go and grab that. But I really hope this video helped you out. I created this video because of a comment that I got. So if you have a video suggestion, then make sure you leave it for me in the comment section down below and I may include it in a future video. But I really hope this video helped you out and if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Download the formula have a great day and I will see you soon.